Hi everyone, I'm Yossi, Head of Product Communications at Odoo, and welcome back to another episode of Odoo's Tips and Tricks. This week, we are bringing you a web series called Odoo Tech Talks, focusing on some technical actions that sound complicated, but in reality, Odoo makes it easy and accessible. We are continuing the series with part two of importing of data on Odoo. If you have not seen the first video, please click on the link in the description below to reference it. So without further ado, let's continue with the task at hand of importing my products. Last time, we identified the various fields we needed to have on our spreadsheet from our inventory app and our product page. Today, we are going to create our spreadsheet with 10 new products and import them easily onto Odoo. Here we are on my spreadsheet. And the first thing I'm going to do is give it a title and identify the various columns. It's truly important to match up the column name with the exact name we identified on Odoo. So in this example, we have name for product name, cat ID for product category, and type for product type. We are also going to include product price as well and call it price. Now that we have tagged all of our columns, let's go ahead and fill them in. So we have the products one through 10, but we can actually have thousands of records on here. Then we fill in the other categories. Product category is all, product type is storable product, and price, well, we can make price up right now. Once this spreadsheet has been created, we are going to save it as a CSV file, but it can also be saved as an Excel. CSV is just my personal preference. Next, we're going to hop back onto my database and easily import our newly created products. We find our inventory application, go to products, and locate the import button. Here, we now see all the fields we are going to drive them into. First, we want to test the import, which tells us right now that everything looks good and we are ready to go. If not, the system will give me an error message and allow me to double check any spelling mistakes or anything else that would prevent a successful import. In this case, if you simply put storable instead of storable product, you will see an error message. So it is critical to get uh, the import names exactly right. And voila, here we see the products we have just imported. Naturally, we can add photos and more information as needed. But the goal here is to have as many fields filled in as possible, saving valuable time instead of adding products one by one. This same method can be used for importing anything on Odoo. For example, contacts or leads. Wasn't that easy? This concludes the part two of the video on how to import your data on Odoo. Sometimes getting your hands dirty makes you appreciate the investment you have made. If you would like additional help in importing your data, however, please do not hesitate to contact one of our business analysts who can better understand and assess your needs. Tune in next time to learn how to export data from Odoo. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to our Tech Talk and remember to like and follow us to get the latest videos and content on all things Odoo. Stay healthy out there and oh, do it all!